So I wanted to um, just do a quick little look at top stitching on faux leather or vinyl. And I'm on a Bernina 770, not an, a, not an industrial machine. I gotta scooch it back, just a skosh, there we go. So I'm on a domestic, and quite often there are ways, if you're a bag maker, that you have to become an engineer or an inventor to sidestep things that um, a domestic machine might struggle with where an industrial machine would sail right through it. Um, and one of the things is top stitching. So I have this layer, this layer, and the seam allowance in here to top stitch through. And so I've got a 9014 needle. You can use a jeans needle, um, top stitching needle. But the one thing you have to remember about top stitching on vinyl or faux leather or leather is that once there's a hole poked in the material, it's always going to be there. Um, one little trick that I did one time that worked pretty well was that um, I hit it with a hair dryer, a blow dryer for my hair, and I got it soft and I rubbed it a little bit and I went over it with a little roller that I use in quilting to finger press with, and it really helped a lot. But it was a Mora faux leather, which is very buttery and much softer than this kind of faux leather or vinyl. So um, that's just a little tip that you can try if you happen to have to, whoops, change something out on your top stitching, if you have to rip something out and, and try to stitch again. So I'm ready to top stitch and I have on my non-stick Teflon foot. And the thing with this foot is you can't ever let the feed dogs run over the bottom of it. So you always have to start in a little ways because the feed dogs will kind of chew away the, the non-stick stuff that's on, on the bottom of this. So let's get going and I'm using a stitch length of 2.85 on this and I'm not going to go very fast. And I'm kind of pushing it down as I go. You can see my fingers kind of working it down. And this is a 1 8 inch top stitch. And the thing I'm looking at, I am not looking at the needle. I am looking at this side of the inside cutout of my foot. Right here is where I'm looking so that I can guide that right along the edge of the fold and my top stitching will be absolutely beautiful. And another thing you always want to do before you start off on any big top stitching, like let's say a handle or a crossbody strap, is to be sure your bobbin is full. So just wind a couple of different bobbins, a couple bobbins or three, and then when you're starting off a long stretch of top stitching, you just make sure you're, you have enough bobbin thread to make it all the way through. And you'll make it just fine. So I'm almost to the end. You can hear it's pulling it through. It's kind of a thick, a thick um, thing that I'm asking it to sew through. Let me trim these threads off. And um, not every pattern is 
really accommodating to this idea, but this one is. And I love the look of two rows of top stitching, one eighth inch apart. It makes the, whoops, it makes the bag look so much more sharp and classy. And so I do two rows of top stitching whenever I can. And there are times, now like I'll show you on the bottom, this is just kind of a felt back on this. So it's sliding along just fine on the bottom. But there's going to be a place in this where I have to attach a top band around the top of the bag where I'll have vinyl on both the bottom and the top. And my non-stick foot is keeping it from sticking on the top, but when I have to sew something that has vinyl on the bottom, it's going to drag on the bed of my machine because it's metal. And that's going to affect my stitching, my top stitching. So what I use when I have to do that is I have, you can see this is a well-used, look at the edge there. This is my well-used piece of tissue paper. So um, what I was kind of getting at was that um, I will put this tissue paper on the bed of my machine right up to the needle. I won't sew through this tissue paper. But when you have a situation where you have got vinyl on the back and vinyl on the front, and you need to sew through and do some top stitching, just put this tissue paper underneath and your vinyl will slide right along with no problem at all and no drag. This also works for embroidery, like if you're doing uh, luggage tags in the hoop or uh, uh, hand sanitizer holders in the hoop where you're using cork or faux leather or leather. Um, if you put a little piece of tissue paper on the bed of your machine around the needle, not where the needle will go through it, your stitches on the back side will look really beautiful. And so here are my top stitches for this demo, and I think they look fabulous. So that is how you top stitch on faux leather and vinyl.